You can't avoid crashing into what you can't see. Traditional headlights show you what's in your path now. Adaptive headlights show you what's in your path next. The concept goes back all the way to the Tucker. It had a third eye headlight that mechanically followed the steering rack rather crudely. Today, two major technologies get this done better. Some cars have special lights that aim off into the corners and only turn on as you turn the wheel to navigate a corner. More common are cars that have motorized headlamp assemblies that actually swivel left or right based on your steering angle and your vehicle speed. One of the newer technologies, though, has been shown by Audi. These are called LED matrix headlights. Audi's developed these. If you look inside there, you're going to see five LED assemblies. There they are there. And each of those is made up of five LED emitters. So 25 pieces here, 25 more on the other side. They tell me that you can do a billion combinations of light based on direction, based on the shape of the thing, and even based on where it's pointing. And they do the pointing, not by moving things on swivels like most cars do, but by actually changing what light elements are on and the intensity of each one. This is interesting because they can use GPS instead of the steering column to pre-aim the lights where you're going. It knows where the curve is coming before you steer into it. So the light is there even before you are. Whereas current cars wait for your steering input, in theory, putting the light's reaction a little bit behind where you need to be looking. This tech's not for sale in the U.S. yet, not because it isn't ready, but because the Department of Transportation and other regulators just haven't caught up with it yet and don't quite know how to classify it. Other countries do have it for sale. Now this is laser light coming in the future. This is really cutting edge stuff. What Audi's done here is envisioned a laser high beam specific lighting system with incredible range. We're talking 500 meters, that's 1500 feet. Trust me, your current high beams don't see out that far. And of course, with incredible intensity and purity of light that laser is known for and the similar low energy consumption that LED is known for. What's happening inside here is actually a bit of a misnomer. You may think this is like some Pink Floyd concert where they're shooting lasers all over the road. Not the case. This is the module that's in the guts of this thing. The actual laser is behind this piece of circuit board and it's only going as far as this barrel. It's pointing this way to that piece of phosphor there which gets excited by the laser light and then it emits the light then through a lens and then with its incredible brightness. So if you think about this as being lasers fired all over the road, that's not how it works, but it harnesses laser technology nonetheless. As you can see, a benefit of this design is its extreme compactness, freeing up more of the car's front acreage for designers to do things other than just fitting in big lamp assemblies. The IIHS rates adaptive lighting among the best of the new crop of driver assistance tech. Recent surveys show that models of cars equipped with current adaptive headlights have as much as a 10% reduction in collision claims. And the IIHS estimates that full adoption of this technology one day could eliminate as many as 140,000 accidents a year, some 2,500 of those fatal. When you're in the market for a new car, new or late model used, it pays to double check if it's got adaptive headlight tech. 